Hello everyone, my name is John Ashton and I have been with Greater Manchester Police Museum and Archive for nearly nine years. So now I will tell you about what happened in court. For a long time I've actually been the court tour guide and normally when we actually start in the morning in the staff room we have our briefing and, um, and everyone then gets ready because they have to be in place for the first visitors coming into the museum. Because I'm at the end of the tour, at the end of the building, and I'm on the last thing people will see, I can take my time a little to get my uniform on, which I did. And then I can stroll down the corridor, get into the courtroom, make sure the doctor's room's okay, make sure the AD room's okay. And then I walk around the, the actual court to make sure that everything is okay for the first visitors coming in. Normally it takes about 20, 25 minutes for the first visitors to come into the museum, first to the courtroom from the rest of the museum, because that's how long it takes them to come around. Sometimes people are a bit quicker but they rush around, but normally it is about 25 minutes. So once I've made sure everything is spick and span and everything looks right, I'll sit down on the, on the normally on the, as you look at it, as you walk in the door, the left-hand side of the museum on the seat, at the courtroom on the seats, and just bide my time by looking at my mobile phone, uh, thinking about home or whatever. And this, I've done this for ages, for a long time. And then one day I was sat there contemplating the first people coming in. And then I heard a noise, which I've not heard before. And it came from my left towards the bench area where the magistrates sit. Then I heard something that sounded to me like the turning of a lock, which I thought, this isn't right. And then the door opened behind the bench, which is the main door, which would be the magistrate's ready room. And I looked at it and, I, and, I, and well, I won't tell you exactly what I thought because I can't talk about it here, but the echoes went up at the back of my neck. My spine went stone cold and I just looked at this door that had now opened about four feet in the jam. And I thought, I'm not going up there. So therefore, hang on a minute, there's people going to be coming up, so I've got to go and close that door. And then I looked at the CCTV and I thought, I hope they got that on CCTV because it's never happened before. So then I went into the left-hand side uh, little, little doorway to the bench and opened it, and I walked towards the door, open door, which is open in the jam. It, it, it's just on the wall. There's nothing behind it. And there's no, no, um, there's no wind up there. There's no airflow uh, to actually make a door open. And this door is so heavy, it needs someone to pull it because it is a heavy door. And um, so I walked behind the main magistrate's chair towards this open door and I thought, don't you do anything now as I walked towards it. And I slammed it shut. And it takes a bit to shut it. So then I opened it again and then shut it again. And I thought, well, that's all right. And then I turned around and walked back towards the end of the bench. And I thought, don't you dare open now because I'm going to run. So when I got down onto the, the main court, uh, um, the main area of the courtroom, nothing else had happened. And just then the first visitors were coming up. So then the, the, the day happened and, and went as normal. But that has never happened before and never happened since. And everyone laughs at me about it, but it did happen. It scared the out of me. And that is me. That is what I do, that I enjoy. And things happen now and again. Oh, 